everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a different video. This video is gonna be, where will you live with your soulmate? So we're gonna have a look at the map. We got some nice little boxes here with all the different things. We're gonna look into what type of place it's gonna be, what's on the inside, what's on the outside. And we're gonna be looking into all the details of your soulmate, the energy of the house, all that type of stuff. So it doesn't actually have to be a soulmate as in like a relationship soulmate, it can be a friend, but I do feel like this is gonna be somebody who you feel really connected to and somebody you are possibly, you know, in love with if it is a relationship but if you'd like to change it to a friendship that is totally fine friendships can be soulmates and um, we can have acquaintances that are so much you know it, it just depends but if you'd like it to be about relationship then hold it to that because especially if i include children that's going to be a relationship so let's get started with your reading we have group number one with the labradorite heart and we have all the runes here as well all these runes mean something different so we're going to be looking into that too so you can choose by the rune you can choose by the crystal whatever resonates with you so we have labradorite rose quartz uh orange calcite and red jasper one two three and four and all the timestamps are down below uh, in the description box and in the comment section my rates for my private readings are down below in the description box and also my crystal shop and instagram should be down there too so let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys and let's get started with group number one with the labradorite hello group number one and let's get started with your reading my lovelies so you guys chose this little rune here so we're going to have a look and see what she means let's just get the little instruction booklet out so let's see so this one oh wait hold on they all look quite similar this one is i don't know how to pronounce these names thurisaz t-h-u-r-i-s-a-z hammer it's a it's a hammer and this is called conf this is about conflict defense strength and protection so that can mean various different things we'll have a look into that in just a moment all right, so you guys chose the Labradorite heart. We're gonna put her there. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Group number one, we'll see what's going on for you guys in terms of this house. And then we're gonna look into all the details about the home and things like that. But we're gonna look into first the type of energy, how you're gonna get there, all that sort of stuff. So we have Venus, Progressions, and the South Node. So we have number 21, 56, and 33. Those could be an age, it could be the door number, all that sort of stuff, depending if you have a door, I don't know, it depends, you got, might be in a barn with like a friggin' big gate, I don't know, <laughs> it just depends. So I'm gonna keep it very open um, today. So we have Venus, Progressions, and we have the South Node. I feel like I wanna get some a couple more cards just to kind of clarify those so let's get some of those now let's get some energy cards okay they're telling me to do the progress of like how you're going to get there okay so that's fine so obviously this is some of you guys who aren't in, in, in the relationship yet so that is totally fine okay oh that's nice so they're putting the cards like on there so i just kind of put the cards wherever i'm drawn to i don't really think about it um, I'm, all I'm doing is really channeling through with my hands as well. So let's get you from Carter's journey to your home with your soulmate, where you're gonna live, all that beautiful stuff. Okay, so you definitely have gone through a few relationships. You've gone through um, quite a few different ones, not just partnerships, I will just say that right now, definitely not just partnerships, these are um, friendships, these are just really deep connections that have transformed you very, very deeply. And it has shown you that you have a shit ton of strength, that you have so much strength to really help you move through. And I really feel as if you guys are gonna have a change um, to do with the number three. Number three feels really, really good. It feels like a massive, massive shift. It feels like possibly the third month of the year. It could be that's your birthday, it's your partner's birthday, something like that. But number three and number 10 are very, very significant. I also feel as if you may go back to somebody and that could be your partner. It could be that you are having a break from somebody right now, or you're gonna be with somebody who actually has a major breakthrough, a major change, and then you go back to that person. Not always, but we have a number three again. I love that. So there's so many different kind of mess messages coming through. So I'm just gonna tell you all the ones that I am seeing. What I feel like, the main one is, is I am, I'm hearing, I am glowing up, I am growing up, glowing up, and I am transforming. So the way you guys are with your um, 
the people that you're going to be with, the person you're going to be with, the people that you're around right now, you are definitely transforming the way you attract them and how you speak to them. And basically you're coming away from old, stagnant, yucky energy in the form of a person. So it could be people that are very toxic, people that are manipulative, things like that. That's the sort of thing you're coming away from. The Ten of, the Ten of Cups is a really, really beautiful card. This is showing me that you guys are going to manifest somebody who's really concrete and you're going to manifest your house possibly possibly within about three years that's for some of you guys not for everyone um yeah about three ish years um so we also have the three of pentacles so what this is showing me is that you guys are both going to be working um i don't see you being retired i don't see you being uh, definitely money coming in um even if you are retired obviously you need to have money coming in somewhere so you will have the money coming in but i see two of you making money um, separately in separate accounts and that's how you come into this connection you both um, put that money in together i see at least forty thousand, like obviously pounds can be dollars whatever currency you're with i just see the amount of forty thousand going into this um, property whatever you are <clears throat> looking into but i see that when you come together with your partner i see at least three years until you move in um, so I feel like right now a really good chance for you to manifest your partner, manifest a partnership is to work on your feminine side, is to work on the part of you that you struggle to show love, um, emotion, the emotional side, your nurturing side. Give more to yourself. You guys definitely give it away quite easily. Not that's a bad thing, you're very giving, but if you're giving it too much, then you may have not strong, like may need to learn to have boundaries or you know something that could be something you learn. But with feminine energy, this isn't just about women at all. This is literally all beings have feminine and masculine energy, um, including animals. We have a little bee here. So there's definitely some type of pregnancy going on. Um, you could be carrying the baby or your partner could, obviously depending on the gender, but I feel as if there's definitely a lot of love and there's a lot of nurturing to do with this house. So if you are wanting a child, then there could be a child in one of the rooms. They may have their nursery, um, but the transformation is huge. Like I feel like a lot of you guys will have a, such a different relationship with this person. This person's going to be very, very different to what you're used to. This is somebody who you have never, most likely never met before. So it's obviously some of you guys, it will be somebody you've met, but for like, 95% of you, you don't know this person. Um, and part of it is to, to actually manifest this person is to work on your self node. So looking at where your self node is, this is what we bring into this life, but it's also what we need to come away from, what we learn through our life. So for you, I feel like it's about you guys taking one step at a time and being more patient with yourself. A lot of you guys are like massive perfectionists. So you tend to put a lot of pressure on yourself and picking up like someone pushing on your shoulders and they're pr pushing you down. And that's been a lot, what a lot of people have done to you. There's so many messages. Whoa. Okay, so one of the things is you've been around people that there's a lot of conflict. What was that um, rune again? Let's see. They're saying to look at the rune. Conflict, defense, strength, and protection. You guys are learning right now to have um, protection around conflict. That's something that's preparing you for this next partnership is all the conflict you're going through, whether it be preventing you from moving, preventing you from, uh, maybe you're going for a health journey. There's something about, I keep getting walls and barriers and it's because you're learning through conflicts, especially for my Libra and Taurus and Capricorn and Pisces placements. You guys tend to sweep stuff under the rug or not actually look at what's going on. And unfortunately, part of your karma I feel, um, obviously it's a general reading, but part of your karma I feel is to look at the conflict and go into it obviously not like physical conflict where you're like hitting people no i mean like emotional conflict where you are sitting there and you are actually going there and you are witnessing it rather than escaping or um dissociating things like that that's a really big one for you because what i see is you have a lot of walls up and your partner is going to be really really open and vulnerable and gentle with you and this is going to be a really good time for you right now any type of connections you have is to be as open as possible with them and to learn to have good boundaries with people that aren't good for you. There's a sense of like really nurturing yourself and be really, really good um, to yourself, to your mind, hearing to your brain. You might be going through some sort of brain something or other, like I'm picking up like um, lights going off in the brain. There may be somebody you know having brain surgery. I don't know, this is a general reading. I don't think, I don't see it being you. Um, it could also be you're having a scan on your brain, just a general scan, just to check what's going on or something like that. Like I don't see anything bad. This isn't a health reading, but I just feel like that's a sign that things are changing. It could even be, actually I'm picking up also, it could definitely be to do with your subconscious. Um, 
if you are rewiring your subconscious, it is fucking hard. It's not easy because we've been ingrained for a very young age to do as our parents do, how they um, taught us, and that was normal. And if that doesn't sit well with you, if you've had trauma around parents and family, you will have adopted a lot of um, disconnection and uncomfortable stuff around um, connected to your subconscious. So for you, what I'm feeling is you're learning to be really, really independent. You're learning to um, put money, I'm hearing put your money where your mouth is. And actually what I'm seeing is not the actual, I don't know what that quite exactly means, but what they're showing me is your money is going into savings and it's actually, you're being very delicate with it. Um, you're being very, you're appearing diligent. You're being very diligent with it. This is definitely a new energy. You're going to be very surprised at your partner. You're not going to be you're going to be surprised because you you think you know who it is. This is like such a sassy message. You think you know who it is, but you don't. Like part of, obviously for not everyone, but for a lot of you guys, you don't actually know exactly who this person is. Um, because when you meet them, you're going to be like, oh shit, because they have such a different energy to what you're used to. Um, yeah, it's going to be very, very strange. But this is the type of stuff that you're going to go through around the house. I do see we have a lot of clocks. A lot of you, some of you guys just really like clocks. You might like numerals, like Roman numerals. You might love that. You might lo love the look of old age kind of numbers. I'm hearing Latin. I'm hearing Latin, Ameri American Latin, Latin America. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's to do with a country or something, but that's what I'm hearing, Latin America. Um, and then we have progressions and journey with transformation. So you would have gone up a lot of mountains, a lot of emotional mountains to actually manifest this. Um, but that's because that's what you're meant to do. That's just you preparing. What I'm hearing is, this is a really lovely message, by the way, I'm getting such good energy from it, is you are getting your hand and you are fucking digging so deep to get to the, the root of what's going on. Once you get to the root, you're going to manifest your person. Because what I'm seeing is you can't carry all of your subconscious stuff and all your learning is in like, you can't expect your new partner to be like anything else you've experienced. So the universe is really getting you to dig up a lot of old crap. And this can be, I'm going to say, possibly slight health issues, nothing major. I don't feel anything major, but I will say, I'm not a doctor just to say, but I will say you need to look after your immune system, like lots and lots of vitamin C, all that stuff, all that beautiful stuff, because you guys are very sensitive. Your body, when your body goes through emotional changes, supporting your immune system is fucking key, okay? That is just, and that could be eating really well, getting out into nature, you know, all that beautiful stuff. Like I say, I'm gonna say again, I'm not a doctor. People seem to get very scared when I say, you know, about health problems, which I totally get, but I just wanna plug, I'm not a doctor. Extra clarification, okay? So be very kind, okay guys? Okay, so <laughs> so I definitely feel like something to do with age though. One of you guys is this age. We've got 56, 21, 33. So that's obviously for some of you guys, some of you guys there. So I really love these cards though. They feel very magical. Um, I do feel for some of you guys, you have a spiritual practice um, and you are gonna do that from home because I feel as if, oh, I can't pick that up. I feel as if for some of you guys, um, this is gonna be about you, um, creating a lot of spiritual energy in the ha in the home i really want to keep these do you want to do you want yeah let's keep them yes yeah, so you want to go for a massive paradigm shift before you are in this connection um this connection is a really really big one it's not a little one so you might be thinking oh my god it's so annoying that my you know my partner's taking ages to come in it's like girl if you were ready you would be ready trust me you don't know what is coming towards you so you can't always say like, oh you know i need to be in a relationship it's like girl you don't know sometimes we just don't know things and obviously i'm a psychic so it's kind of like ironic me saying that like we don't always have to know everything but honestly like as a Scorpio as well, I like to know everything. So this is, you know, we're getting we're getting personal here. We are getting we are getting deep. Okay, you guys, we have the world map. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my newly bought um, what's this called? <laughs> oh my god, what is this called? I literally I literally forgotten what this is called. Dowsing crystal. Literally just out my brain. So this is um, Smoky Quartz. I bought her. She is a new one. So I'm gonna use her and then we're also gonna use some dice. We'll see what these um, come towards as well. This can be different places, different options, um, holidays, things like that. It can be where your family's from. It can mean um, you wanna travel there or you just have a connection to that country or place. We also have the type of house, the interior and the exterior. So we have like what's gonna be around the house, type of house inside and outside, okay? so. 
let's have a look and see okay what type of month could you possibly meet this person or be moving august lovely i feel happy with that just that card okay beautiful my lovelies okay let's have a look and see i'm going to see what i feel just intuitively i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be really blunt here some of you guys um I'm picking up on your skin color. Some of you guys have black skin or dark skin. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Just obviously it, you can be completely any skin color. It does not matter. I just saw um, a woman with dark skin. I just saw that. So I'm picking up around this area. Um, this area feels good. Not so much this. Then I'm seeing like a tiny, tiny dot here and lots of dots. So it's almost like when you're um, you know, on Google Maps, you have the pin. I'm seeing lots of pins around this area and not one pin over here. So it could be that you are Canadian, you're from this side of the world and you move over here. That's kind of possibly what I'm feeling because I'm seeing that you're not here for too long. Um, something like that. This is a general reading. Please take it as such. Okay, so... So we're gonna ask what way is yes. So clockwise is yes and anti-clockwise is no. I'm trying not to have my hand too close to the camera, sorry guys. Okay, so is it on this side of the world that they are gonna be living with their soulmate? No, that was quite quick. Yes. I really feel like Russia's like so, oh no, it's not Russia, okay. Okay, Oh, it likes Mongolia, China, that type of area. Nope, nope, nope feel like maybe England no okay oh Egypt is quite interesting get like something around Israel and Egypt um, Israel and Egypt and then we also have Russia I feel Russia is it China no not China definitely Russia okay so around this area and this area Okay, so we're gonna go for the main chunk because that's um, what I'm feeling the most. Is there anything else that group number one needs to know about where they're gonna be with their soulmate? This could be where you meet them as well. So, meeting or living. Okay, so it's definitely over this area, this side of the uh, world. So we have six and three. Interesting. Okay, it's definitely on this side of the map though that they want me to look at. So. Those could be extra numbers for you guys. Um, <clears throat> it could be that, they're, that you live somewhere and they're like three to six miles away from you, something like that. Could be um, in the next t t town along, something like that. Okay, so I have all the maps here. So let me grab Russia. And we're gonna get very specific. So, all right, let's see if there's anywhere around Russia. But this person, if this per if this place is not a good place to live, um, I will say that they could be from here. Okay, so obviously I am not a massive ge geographer, like a geographer. I don't I don't know everything about the world. So if there's something bad going on, you know, just please just take it as it resonates. Okay, so also I I know not a lot about Russia. Okay, so <laughs> so hello to anyone who's from Russia. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hello. So it likes this area here. This area here. So I'm going to put that closer to the camera. I'm not going to attempt to try and pronounce these. But we have around this area. So this could be where any of you guys live, have lived or are going to live. Okay. Or where your partner is from. Okay. So this area here. And try and show close up to the camera okay possibly all right <clears throat> okay so let's now have a look at the type of place so it doesn't actually have to be the exact country just take it as it resonates like i say I'm trying to keep this as general as possible all right so we're going to have a look into the type interior and exterior Let's get rid of these ones now. This one is very important though. I do feel like you could have, also some of you guys could have come from a place of conflict. You could have come from a family that was very, you know, possibly quite um, emotionally <coughs> abusive. So let's do the throat chakra going on. Um, because this is, means conflict. So, but I feel like this is shooting you forward. This is about an arrow shooting you forward. So if you've been through anything like that, maybe your, your parents came from a war-torn country or something like that. 
Um, and I feel like a lot of transformations come out of that, a lot of learning to do with how you feel about yourself. Um, okay, so let's see the type of place. I'm picking up it's like an apartment or something for this group. This one. A cottage. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think they have cottages in Russia, but <laughs> okay, let's see, let's get another one. There we go. Okay, so it could be a cottage or an apartment. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in Russia. I'm trying to be like, I'm be probably too, a bit too specific right now. Um, but it could be a cottage if you want to live in a cottage. Okay, let's get some interiors. So things inside the house. Okay, we have interior. Closed plants. This might be quite a small place. So not an open plan. Closed plan. We have lots of people around you. So this could be a big family that you come into or you are part of a big family. Something like that. Two bedrooms, possibly. Decor connected to the country that you're in. And masculine. So I'm picking up a lot of browns, a lot of like wooden things, a lot of wooden tables, wooden chairs, and lots of brown. Um, I'm picking up a lot of, yeah, deep. I'm hearing mahogany, mahogany deep. Um, I'm hearing crystal, I'm hearing Christmas as well. It's something to do with crystal and Christmas because so this could be somewhere you even visit on Christmas, um, another cottage or an apartment away from where you are. Um, I feel like also there's gonna be a shit ton of people around you, loads and loads and loads of people. So it could be in quite a um, busy area. Um, it could be in a place that is even a small village, but there's still a lot of people there. Um, something like that. I'm picking up that you're high off the ground, so that could be also a possibility. Um, with your partner, I feel like you're definitely going to be in the same bedroom. Obviously, you're, not every partnership is in the same bedroom, but you're definitely going to be in the same bedroom. Um, I feel like for also for you guys, you're going to have decor connected to the country. So say if your person is, I don't know, from... Bali, they're gonna have a lot of like um, deep rooted kind of Bali decor. So like whatever that means to that person, their culture, they're gonna bring that into the home. So say if it could be um, African culture, it could be a lot of like wood and a lot of like, maybe those wooden like masks or lots of animals, uh, like a lot of animal kind of structure, things like that. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling, lots and lots and lots of wood. So I know, I think a lot of you guys prefer to have natural um, type things in your home. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So let's have a little look at your person then and let's see what type of person you could be attracting. So we'll put these in here. But when I say the decor is masculine, I just feel like a lot of browns. That's like the main bulk of it really. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's have a look at your person. Let's see what type of partnership, see what type of person they are. <laughs> we have Venus again. I love that. Let's take these away as well. Okay. All right. So we have the travel. We have a we have Sagittarius ninth house. So a lot of you guys could be a Sagittarius. Okay. Sorry if the lighting's changed. Just need to close my blind. Anything else about their partner? Okay, so they could be a Leo, Cancer. Got a nice little home there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of homely energy from this person. They're very gentle. I'm not getting any type of in really strong intensity from your person. I feel like they're actually really gentle. They don't really like to um, ruffle too many feathers. Who are you in the relationship? The hero, beautiful. So you have quite a <clears throat> strong energy or somebody who likes to take control. Um, so that's gonna be a type of person you're gonna be with. Um, you're also gonna be with someone who also likes to take control. Um, both of you are very different. Um, one of you could be more on the larger side, the other one could be more on the thinner side. You could be more like you got a big booty, you got big boobs, or you got a big head, I don't know. <laughs> and your person's very kind of like boop, like straight down, you know, like they're all kind of the same size from head to toe. <laughs> um, very like straight down, because it's kind of like this plant is very thin and this rose is very large. So um, it could even be the energy of you. It could be your energy is very large, very larger than life. 
very golden, very Leo type, you know? Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling for you guys. And then this is the relationship that you have. It's gonna be really gentle, very Aquarian, very kind of like um, big thoughts and lots of um, intense conversations about things like the world and possibly the government and, you know, things like that. Both of you don't like to think in the same way, but you have uh, very, very much the same beliefs. So, um, but you're both very um, passionate about the world changing and things like that. So yeah, so that is your reading guys. I wanna give you some advice on moving forward in your love life. Speak your truth. Beautiful, I love that. So speak your truth guys, and that will help you to manifest your next partnership. So I hope you have a great day, my lovelies, and I'll speak to you very soon. Rates in my crystal shop are below. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. You guys have such a lovely energy. I get this very like feminine, naturey kind of, I'm sorry, I have some water on my table. Um, like a feminine, natural Virgo, Libra kind of vibe from you guys. That's kind of what I'm getting. So, okay, so you guys got the Rose Quartz. I love her. She's beautiful. I think I also still have a couple of these available in my shop. I'm hearing like I'm interested. So if you are interested, then that is available on my show. I just got like my eyes just went to that celestite. Okay, so let's have a look at this little rune, guys. And let's see what the little rune is saying. Okay, we have Lagus. I have no idea how to pronounce these. Um, also meaning lake. Imagination, healing, emotions and dreams. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, see, that's the energy I got from you guys. That is so beautiful. Okay, I love that we've got a lake, so you could be living near a lake. Oh, look at that, that is gorgeous. So lots of mountains. Oh yes, Pisces energy, I love that. And Scorpio, I mean, come on. This is the most like ethereal group. You guys are so special. You have such a special energy. You don't think you do, a lot of you, a lot of you guys don't think you do, but you are very, 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 very special. Very intuitive and your person is gonna be pretty much the same. You're most likely gonna have some type of spiritual business or spiritual interests. Um, most likely if you're here, you have a spiritual interest. Um, okay, so, okay, so let's have a look at the energies around this group, the type of energy in the house. And then we can have a look into the map as well. Um, we're gonna see exactly where you're gonna live. Yes, oh, that's so accurate, oh, that is so accurate. Yes, that's how you actually manifest your person is when you begin to really put yourself first. When, and what I mean by that is you you learn to receive in a way, let's try and get out of the shot. You learn to receive in a way that um, you actually take it on. You don't avoid, you don't shut it down. You actually are very interested in receiving and you actually take it on. Yes, so in your past you have dealt, I hope you can see that. Um, you've dealt with a lot of emotional baggage. It says emotional baggage, forgive and move on. That is something you are learning to do. I'm feeling a lot of baggage in like literal bags of stuff. So you could have done a lot of clearing recently. Um, a omen and a kind of message before you move is you will be um, clearing out a lot of your shit out of your house. I say shit because it's gonna be a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, okay, so what's the other thing I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do some um, tarot cards. Okay, so. You guys have a lot of messages. Oh, let's start from number one. Okay, so number one, you guys might have fish. Um, you might have a pet scorpion. You might have a pet tarantula, snakes. Where you live will most likely have animals and lots of them. You guys love animals. You most likely will work with animals in the future if you want to. Um, for you guys, you are going to be moving when you move jobs or when and meeting your person when you move jobs. And also you are gonna be in, this, um, in a really good career when you meet your person. So if you guys are retired, obviously not everyone wants to work or um, can work, uh, or is, you know, have done their work and, you know, is now retired. If it's not a career, it can be just your purpose. And I feel like a lot of you guys, it's gonna be when you're outside, you're moving your body around a lot. And I feel like also you being in a mountainous region would serve you so well. I'm hearing, I get so fit because you're just going up hills like constantly. Beautiful. So we have this um, eighth house of transformation. And I feel as if this one really going to come out. These two are very significant. This is your self-worth and this is your transformation. A lot of you guys are going through a shit ton of transformation right now about how you feel about yourself and how you come across. Very much to do with your identity. Um, it's connected to the second house and the 10th house of money and um, value, how you value in yourself and also your job. This is very important. This ace 
it's showing me that you guys have a lot of potential to make strong choices but you don't really realize this until you are out of a toxic connection or situation this could be moving out of a home moving out of a relationship or just moving out of a job i just feel like it's more of an environment rather than an actual person but i really feel like a lot of you guys are bogged down i'm getting this like um, i'm seeing your um the outline of your body and then there's an aura and there's a lot of like energy that's kind of coming into your life and it's just sucking the life out of you it's like a like a drain almost it's draining literally draining you um, and you're kind of like, yeah, sinking into a hole. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, your um, signature authenticity, your kind of like your thing is gonna be your career. Um, you're kind of learning or possibly know exactly what your purpose is right now, which is fucking amazing. But I feel like at the moment also is you're learning a lot of self-worth to do with your higher power. Your person could also easily, easily, easily be a Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I feel like there's another one. Libra, Cancer, or an Aries. Um, someone's got North Node in Scorpio. Someone has this need to really transform, um, but avoids it, okay? So you are most likely, if you are gonna be with a Scorpio, I feel like this Scorpio is gonna have a shit ton of unconditional love. They are so well-rounded. They have such, I mean, well-rounded and grounded. <laughs> My guys like to rhyme. Um, and this person is um, connected to source very, very like strongly. Um, but I feel like the main thing, like I say, is the main thing to manifest your person is learn to receive. And this can be from the tiniest thing to the biggest thing. The tiniest thing being, I'm gonna go for a walk every day, to I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm gonna accept that compliment. I'm gonna accept um, that gift that that person gave me. I'm gonna accept money that that person's offering me. I'm gonna have my charge, my, well, I'm gonna charge for my business. I'm gonna up that. Um, you know, it could be, I'm gonna ask more questions. I'm gonna make sure that I'm valued. And I know exactly what I am um, purchasing. Say you wanna purchase something but you don't know if it's the right thing, ask those questions. That is about receiving, that is about you owning your power and um, taking up space basically. So we also have this self-worth, which is about boundaries, pride and grace. A lot of you guys have been around toxic people that have made you struggle or have boundaries. Sorry, help. Hmm. Stop, I don't know how to explain it, but struggle, you struggle to have boundaries because of these people. So what I'm seeing is there's a lot of, there's a very significant relationship possibly in your life right now, or it's gonna be very, very soon in, in your life. And this person is definitely 100% gonna move in with you. So it could be a friend first and then your partner, or it could just be a partner straight away. Because what I'm seeing is this person knows exactly what they want and they're gonna introduce you to a new life of, you know, I'm hearing a life of luxury. So if some of you guys are really struggling with money, this person's gonna be an amazing person to um, be with money. And also I am talking very fast. I'm not gonna apologize for it, but I am aware that I talk very fast. And I do get a lot of comments saying, you talk too fast. And it's like, girl, put those captions on or don't watch me. <laughs> Cause I, when I channel my, my words are very, very fast and I can talk to the nth degree. So, if you can't understand me, I apologize, but don't watch my videos because when I channel girl, you get, you're getting those messages, but maybe you can't understand them. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, and for those of you who really love the way I channel, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> so sassy today. Okay, so what I'm seeing is it's gonna be about three years until you move in with this person from watching this video, possibly, possibly. It could be you meet this person in three years, three is your magic number, four is your magic number, nine is your magic number. Um, the number nine is also to me about travel. So your person's gonna introduce you to travel and your person has relatives in abroad, um, most likely in Canada, what I just heard, Canada and Turkey. And uh, I'm here in Tunisia, I don't know where Tunisia is, but I'm here in Tunisia, places beginning with T, C and A. Um, your person has family there. So you're gonna be there, go there. I'm seeing a, um, when you go to this place, you're wrapped up really warm. You have a, a coat on with a fur hood. Um, and you have a backpack on. So I see you traveling in a very, very cold climate, but you are literally having the best time of your fucking life, okay? Um, so like this um, lake um, rune is, it says imagination, healing, emotions, and dreams. I mean, that's fucking Pisces. That is literally Pisces. So your person is definitely somebody who dreams about you, you dream about them. You both have very high emotions. You're very emotional, both of you, and you both are very, very connected to the moon. One of you, if you are a woman, have a, has a period connected to the moon. Um, could be you watching this, has a period connected to the moon. Um, but both of you are just seriously connected. Like any, um, I'm hearing any, 
planetary changes affects your money sometimes and it can affect the way you feel so just be very aware of where the planets are and try to be really kind to yourself especially when the moon changes it changes every two days so it changes every zo um, to the next zodiac sign along every two days so i feel like i'm hearing aries libra cancer um, possibly Leo moons really affect you so just be aware of that and that can also just make you extra sensitive so um, yeah I'm also picking up that you guys are going to be in a place that's really far away um, you're going to be in a place that's not around a lot of people which I'm hearing hell yeah because a lot of you guys are so done with being around toxic people you know people that are very negative dense thick emotions that are just so raw and uncomfortable and if you guys are empaths you don't want that okay so there's something massive around your career though i feel like your career is going to shoot you into your partnership um you could meet your person for your career you could move to said country um through a career say somebody else's or your career and then you meet your person um, this can also mean that you are just in a you, you meet your person literally through your career so you don't actually have to work together um, but you both have uh, you both meet each other through your career um, but you have traveled a lot you have traveled and I don't really mean physically you have emotionally traveled a lot like you've done a lot of work on yourself um, you might be in the middle of just a really deep spiritual transformation and that's okay you know you could have gone through something when you were eight years old 12 years old or 48 and those numbers could also be a door number they could be the age of and obviously not your partner it's not going to be eight years old or 12 that could be your children uh, but 48 i feel is very significant to do the door number or something to do with like the oh, coordinates of the way you're living something like that but i'm picking up four and eight and they're showing me a heart so it's something to do with like a very heart heartfelt unconditional place kind of reminds me of glastonbury because there's chakras all around them in there's literally like chakras in all different countries so you get like the heart chakra is in glastonbury and then you have all the different chakras in the different places um glastonbury is in um the country that i'm in now in the united kingdom and basically in that in that area there are an intense amount of hippies okay and i'm a hippie myself so i feel like i can say that but trust me like girl you know the heart chakra is there because everyone is so lovely there's a shit ton of crystal shops and things like that so that could be the type of place you want to go to. It could be Glastonbury is a place for you, um, for some of you guys. So just maybe consider it. I'm picking up on places in England, specifically like the Lake District. Um, I'm getting London. I'm getting places that, that have English names. So it could be you're in, in Australia or America and they have the same name as somewhere in England. Say like, I don't know, I don't know Edinburgh or something like Oxford that or New London. I'm pretty sure that's somewhere in Canada or United States. Not a geography. I'm not into geography so i'm just doing my best with what i've got okay <laughs> okay so let's have a look at your um where you're gonna live so obviously this is very very general please take it as it resonates and obviously if this is somewhere that's not very good to live then i you know i'm just getting what i'm getting messages so if it doesn't resonate then please just take it with a very very light light tiny tiny grain of salt okay <laughs> all right so i want to feel like i want to zoom you in actually so let's zoom you in and let's have a look at this map so i'm picking up it's definitely around this area um, and i'm picking up on europe as well so this area up here i'm hearing higher up and around this area so show me yes show me no so no is anti-clockwise yes is um clockwise and this is how i use a pendulum everyone's different um so let's have a look and see is it over here that they could be living so not canada not over there Greenland is good. I really like Greenland. So you could be in Greenland. No, okay, so not the United States. Okay. Brazil is really, really good. Brazil is very good. Brazil, Greenland. Oh, you got, you're getting a lot in this one. I feel like it's somewhere here. Mm. Some of you guys, it's going to be Germany as well. Okay. United Kingdom yeah so you guys have got so many countries I'm sorry you've got so many but there's definitely a lighter energy with this group um, a lot of you guys don't want to be in very dense countries so countries that don't have really intense religious factors um, they don't have a lot of like really intense rules you know things like that that's not where you want to be um, you want to be somewhere that it's very delicate very sensitive to um, the food you know the food is really light um, things like that so what we're saying is Greenland Brazil the UK 
and what was the other place? Germany. Okay, so let's get let's have a look at Brazil, and let's have a look at um, Europe as well. We'll have a look and see. Okay, so we have uh, the United Kingdom and Europe. That is what I feel the most drawn to for this group. So let's have a look at the good old United Kingdom, where I'm from, Governor. Okay, and let's try have a look and see what part of the united kingdom because we have scotland we've got wales we've got england we've got ireland so we've got all the things so is it down here nope over here yes okay so wales could be an option no i'm not feeling scotland it feels more down here actually or ireland is what i'm feeling yeah okay yeah so we've got ireland and we have wales sorry guys wales and ireland and that's all I feel like I need to say for that one. So that could be where you live with your man or your woman. Oh, your woman. Okay. And then let's have a look at Europe. Europe. Definitely Germany for this group though. So around Germany, around that area. Okay. So where is Germany on here? There it is. Okay. So, so I definitely feel Germany. Belgium, not so much. Hmm. Prague feels good as well. Prague? No? Okay, not Prague. Just gonna have a little look and see anywhere else. I think that's it. Just Germany. Africa? Nope. Okay. All right, so that is that part of the reading is what I'm feeling for you guys okay so let's have a look at your person and we'll see what they are kind of how they're coming into your life and things like that I feel actually really drawn to ask when they're coming into your life so let's get some dye and let's see how are they how are you going to meet them seventh house Scorpio it's when, you're, when you go through a transformation in your seventh house of some kind. Um, it's going to be very deep, like a really deep transformation because we actually have Pluto, which is um, it's to do with Scorpio. So the seventh house is also to do with Libra. So you guys could have actually um, Scorpio in your seventh house. But what I'm seeing is it's like the way you relate to people is going to fucking flip. Like it's going to change so intensely, so much and you're gonna be related to people so, so differently. Oh my God, I forgot to do these. Okay, we're gonna do that in a minute. Sorry guys, my brain is all over the place. We're gonna do these in a minute. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So cute. Yes, you are definitely a caregiver. Let's have a look at your partner. Oh my God, I love that you're both so similar. You're both so gentle. You're both gonna have like such beautiful children if you want kids. What's your relationship like? The ruler, lovely. So the main reason why you guys are going through such a big transformation, if not now in the future, um, you're learning how to take command, how to really command your voice, how to really express how you feel, um, to really have your values come across and really express your views and opinions, things like that. This is really nice. I'm getting like this person could have um, dyed hair as well. I'm seeing like they're the roots and then their hair is lighter, something like that. Okay, so anything else about this relationship? We have number 33 and 34. I actually had 333 on my phone in the middle of this reading, so that's amazing. You guys are definitely learning the self. We've got the self and the self. That's your person though. I really feel like your person's going for a lot of stuff around their identity. They wanna be a dad or a mom. They really, really do. They want to be a, a, a I keep hearing a, a partner and a father. So of course it doesn't have to be a male, but for those of you who do want a man, that's just massive clarification. Um, you could actually meet your person through a friend as well. I'm seeing that your person who you live with could actually be um, your soulmate is in like a friend and then you come along, then your person comes along and they um, join in with the, with the, in the in the household. Yeah, you guys have a lot of transformation going on. You guys are definitely um, seeing yourself in a different light. Your person could easily have strong Sagittarius and Capricorn placements. They are very responsible, really, really warming, warming 
very warm, caring, <laughs> warming, caring and warm together, warming. Um, this person also represents a dolphin. I'm hearing a dolphin, they represent a dolphin and a mermaid. I'm hearing you're the mermaid, they're the dolphins. So both of you are, obviously it doesn't matter on the gender, but you both are like members of the sea. You both really resonate with the sea. Um, you both really resonate with aquatic and Lemurian and um, what's the other one, Atlantis that type of thing but this person is so fucking amazing like they have such a gentle energy they feel so warm so cuddly and they feel really concrete like this person will sort you out like if you want to go travel but you're scared about it he'll help you out she'll help you out if you want to um you know you want to get out somewhere but you're nervous they help you out if you don't know how to do something they'll help you out like they are there for you they're not there just for themselves they're there for you and that's a very different type of relationship that you guys have never fucking had i'm also seeing like a water balloon just going Ch -ch -ch. so i'm seeing like a massive like awakening um I'm hearing you guys being fucking stretched. Like you feel like you're being pulled through a straw. Like that's kind of like your life right now. Like you're being sucked up through a straw. Like everything just feels like Ugh, because you are being drawn to this person. Like you're being pushed to the nth degree, which I know sucks. Um, some of you guys, this person could celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas and or Christmas. Um, and you both have Christmas together, which is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at the house now. Let's actually do that because that's what we're going to do. So um, we have the type of place, interior, exterior. And the month that you could be moving on meeting this person. December and January. So it could be Capricorn season or Pisces season. Um, no, Aquarius season, sorry. Aquarius season. Okay, let's have a look and see. Have a look at your Jupiter sign as well. That's going to show you um, how you're going to try this person in. It could be that season. So say if you are a Jupiter in Pisces, could be Pisces season. All right, so the type of place. I'm picking up just a general house. It could be big or small. But we'll see. This one. Okay, an apartment. I want to. I want to shuffle again because I really feel like it's a house. There we go. Okay, so I feel I felt like it's going to be either apartment or a house. I didn't feel like it was going to be like a little cabin or anything like that. It could be a cabin, but it's a big one. Like it's not like a really, really, really tiny one. All right, interior. Let's see. I'm picking up a lot of pinks, yellows, whites. So we've got closed plan, black and white theme. Boho decor, bold decor, simple decor. So you, you, you guys are gonna be so like general, uh, but you could like all, all three of those. Let's see what's happening on the outside. Waterfall, lovely. So you could have a waterfall near you. Lots of travel. You and your person could have um, intimate, like physically be intimate um, in a different country and then your baby is born in a different country. Water. So one of you could be pregnant, carrying a baby, and then you're, you know, you have said baby in a different country. So they could be a traveling baby. <laughs> like sisterhood of the traveling pants, it's like sisterhood of the traveling baby. So it's like this baby just is traveling like everywhere. I really feel like you're gonna have a camper van on your um, driveway. Decor connects to the country and then we have driveway. There we go, so you're definitely gonna have a driveway. Um, this is to do with you guys coming into, um, say you have, you know, say you are British, but you are <clears throat> from Africa. You bring in your African um, background into the decor, into that British English home. Um, and it's very kind of lots of wood going on, lots of kind of maybe like weapons spears a very 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 deep african background like tribal uh that type of thing something like that so whatever country you or your person comes from um that is going to be what's connecting you both in the connection i feel drawn to let pull you one of these cards i'm hearing what do they need to know love so you are going to be <clears throat> you're going to be in a relationship and love is around you and sometimes it might not feel like it 
but you are going to be in a very very comfortable position and you will have a lot of people around you okay so let's get you one more card same as group number one we have speak your truth you guys are definitely learning to speak your truth um you're learning to express your boundaries things like that i want one more so a lot of blue support is all around you even if you don't feel like support is around you and your person's definitely around you spiritually so that is your reading have a great day my lovelies rate some crystal shot up below and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the orange calcite um heart and you also chose this rune so let's have a look and see what this rune represents so this is called ingwaz i don't know how to pronounce these so just <laughs> take it as it resonates i feel like i need to like put that a bit tighter in because i feel like you can see like what these are just do that okay so we have um fertility this is to do virtue family rest and well-being that's going to be what your house is representing with your person could be a friend as well whoever this soulmate is they're coming in hot and they're coming in to help you and make you feel good they gonna make you feel so good okay so so this is your little fertility i love that i love actually that means fertility that's really beautiful i love anything to do with babies okay so all right so we have these two cards we have transits climate and we have the 12th house okay i feel like i want just one more card i feel like three cards is a nice well-rounded number so let me just grab deck here okay let's get you one more let's give us a little bit of a shuffle there's definitely something around therapy um and healing so there's something around um you would have had therapy or some type of healing that would have awakened you on some level okay let's get one more okay we have palace athena seventh house yeah lots of changes oh, i want like so many cards in this group so we have Pallas, Athena, um, trying a sextile and, and seventh house. So what I'm feeling is there's going to be, it's going to be really easy to manifest this person. And what I mean by that is you're going to feel like the process is easy to come into this relationship. The main thing they want to say is to, oh, sexual symbolism is to really work on approaching things and taking up space and not being scared of what people think. That's like a really, really big message for you guys, because you guys have gone through a lot of struggles with family um, and you've been kind of conditioned to not speak your truth and speak up. So that's going to be a really big message for those of you coming into this partnership. Okay, so we have this 12th house, transits and descendant. So what these two are showing me is that your climate right now is really, really intense. Like the way you are could be the weather, but it feels like it's internal. You're going through a really, really fucking big shift introspectively like really interest like really inward um and what you're doing is you're being asked to um take one step at a time and be really really kind to yourself um your person is definitely going to be a healer of some kind if not that's if that's not their job they're going to be just an amazing um gentle empath they're somebody who is really really empathic and when you are in your home there's going to be a lot of changes so i do feel like it's going to be a lot of renovation um, if you decide to renovate, I feel like that's something you want to do. I'm picking up like you like to transform. So your house will transform with you. Um, you like things to change. You want things to change. Um, you could have a lot of um, rainbow colors in your home. I do feel like there might be like chakra, something or other in the house. Um, lots of circles in the home as well. So it could be lots of round clocks, round decor, um, maybe like lots of coasters and something like that. Um, I also feel like your person's not actually that far away from you. So I don't see them being super, yeah, I don't see them being super, super far away. Um, you're definitely going to build a long-term relationship in this house uh, or wherever it is. It does feel like a house. Um, you're both really, really solely tied to each other and it's going to be a very, very long relationship, um, which you can be happy to hear because it's, yeah, it's really, really beautiful and very, very long. Um, and you're most likely going to have some sort of family connection there. You might have someone live with you who's part of your family. Um, you might have someone come into your house before you meet this person. So it could be you are the one to ground the house down. So you actually buy the house and then your partner lives with you. But first of all, you might live with family in said house um, because you might need to have some extra help with the, the rent or the mortgage or something like that. Um, but what I'm seeing is your home is going to be a retreat for a lot of people. You're somebody who wants to bring in 
and help a lot of people and it's going to be some sort of respite for some people to be um it's going to be really quiet there's definitely going to be a baby crying though so um that's not going to be the quiet part but there's not going to be a lot of people around where you're living it's going to be most slightly detached um and could be in farm area um, or in a massive place of like big mountains and lots of greenery um you will most likely have a family with this person and what i mean by family is children because family doesn't have to mean biological but i do see some type of children coming in possibly you birthing them or your partner depending on the gender um but i see that children are going to be a really big part of this journey um it could be that your family has a baby and you, you they live with you or something like that could be you want to foster children it could be you want to adopt um adopt them what I'm seeing also is there's massive amounts of rest with this house. Um, it feels really, really calm and really quiet and far away from any type of drama or bullshit. Okay. And because it means family and fertility, um, there's definitely going to be some type of birth in the house. So you most likely you want to have a child in the house. Um, yeah that's what i'm feeling so it's gonna be really really sweet there's gonna be a lot of physical intimacy i'm trying not to say the word beginning with s um it has three letters <laughs> let's just do that take that away <laughs> and it says that okay so that's what i'm seeing is going on um you guys are going to be transforming a lot with this partnership i actually feel that you would have done a lot more of transforming before meeting this person because that's kind of um what's going on with you is you have gone through a lot with this person, um, sorry, you've been through a lot with yourself um, and that being a lot of codependency with other people, a lot of connections that are toxic and feel like they're like you're attached to them like biologically but you're not even attached to them. So basically just like really toxic um, connections. So I feel like you would have done a lot of work on your conditioning um, to do with your subconscious and you would, you're gonna have a really fun time living with this person. You're gonna have a lot of, like I say, physical intimacy in all the, all the rooms and there's gonna be a lot of babies being made. So contraception up. Okay. How are they gonna meet the, oh. How are they gonna meet the person? Okay, so intuitively I just saw Mexico on the map. So I feel like some of you guys, it could be in Mexico. Mexico, where you meet your person. And then we have cancer. I don't know what accent that was. It was not Mexican, but okay. Um, okay, or Spanish. All right, so we have Cancerian. We have Sixth House and the Sun. Let's move these. Oops. Let's move these there. How are you going to meet your person? When you are more stable. <laughs> when you are a stable place where you can invite someone into your life and it not trigger you so much. Because I'm hearing, I don't want it to trigger you. That's what your guides are saying. I don't want them to trigger you. That's not kind of their journey. Um, they're there to help support you. They're not there to fully, fully trigger you. You know, of course they will trigger you. But not in a way that's like toxic. It's going to be in a way that's like showing you what love really is like. Um, you're going to come away from people who are jokers. No more people that are insecure and just really messed up i'm just gonna say very bluntly they're pretty messed up the people you've been around like some of them have really bad issues like they will literally just spit at you and make it your fault and it just makes me so angry your man is going to pretty much save you your woman your man pretty much is going to save you um from this toxic situation and keep saving up your monies okay if you have a job right now Say what your money is. If you don't, I see a job coming in for you. Um, just say what your money's, guys, and just try any way to make money that feels really good for you, especially working from home or making something and selling it. Because I feel like your money is going to be your main security, um, especially if you haven't got anyone else to really support you. Your money's main support, mainly supporting you right now. So your king or your queen is coming in in around three-ish years, possibly three months, but doesn't have to be the number three is just very significant okay could be your third job uh, or something like that you can actually meet your person um through health and fitness um or through pets or nature so something like that because that's the sixth house okay so your person is definitely somebody who's into relationships they love transformation through relationships there's somebody who helps people in their connections and you most likely will work with this person um I don't see this person being too complicated. They're very simple. They're very gentle. And yeah, what star signs are we getting? I'm getting Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Cancer, Virgo, possibly Capricorn and Aries. 
okay but mainly the fixed signs not leo though mainly the fixed signs and aries i feel there's a lot of scorpionic energy around this group as well um yeah i'm hearing don't take it so personally so if you are a fixed sign i'm hearing you take things quite personally if someone has advice and even like for me giving this advice right now it is very very general and even if it wasn't general and it was very specified to you like you don't have to take this advice like that's what i'm picking up for you guys your journey is to really make your own rules and to birth things for yourself like create things for yourself and you don't always have to listen to everyone's advice like not everyone is going to have advice that's good for you so i want you to realize that you have to use your own intuition you know that's kind of what i'm feeling and that's basically in any connection you have so say if you're somebody who's been very tied to other people in relationships and you know it's been all about the other person and what they want because you've been around people that are very selfish um, and that's kind of your patterning of what you have done um, i feel like for you guys this is about you holding on to your identity and making sure that your identity does not fall through as soon as you get into a relationship and it will be a big deal when you live with this person especially because you'll be sharing possibly sharing money with them um, for this group i do feel like you're going to be sharing assets um so yeah i'm hearing sharing sharing arse as well <laughs> so that's obviously a sexual message some of you guys might like that okay so let's have a look at your journey with your um with this okay so um okay so let's do the map first and we'll see if there's any countries that want to pop out so we've got my little dowsing crystal here so yes for me is normally cl and uh, clockwise so let's see any yeses around here I'm getting a lot around Canada and the US. I did say Mexico, so that makes a lot of sense. Oh, sorry, guys, it's so wonky. Can't always see what I'm doing. Okay. So I feel definitely around here. A crystal likes being around Canada. Okay. Hmm. Nigeria. It says Chad. I've not heard of Chad before. Sorry if any of you guys are from there, but around Nigeria feels really good. Could be you're from there. Russia is good. Um, New Zealand? Nope. So we've got Canada, United States, and we have Russia, and we have Nigeria. And Chad. Okay, so let's have a look at the main ones that I have here. So, uh, let's see. So we have Russia and we have Canada and the US. All right, so let's have a look at these ones and we'll see where you could be living. Let's start with the US. Okay anywhere specific they're saying to me um texas is texas on here oh yeah there is <laughs> the massive like pink one yeah it's gonna be somewhere hot definitely somewhere hot stays hot like most of the year I'm not actually saying anywhere else okay so texas and mexico i'm picking up for you guys that one and then canada any specific area? I'm thinking more around this area here. Quebec, okay. So definitely Quebec around this area here. That's where it's really kind of not Ontario, definitely around this area. Okay. And then let's have a look at Rosho. what sort of area I'm feeling over this light up here no down 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 over here yeah there we go so around this area i'm gonna put that to the camera obviously take it as it resonates i don't know if these places are like really bad or good places but 
they could be from here or you could end up living there okay so just take it as it resonates very very generally grain of salt okay <laughs> take it with a grain of salt all right so let's have a look and see about the type of place these two so we have a cabin so you could be in a cabin like a big one and a house lovely interior please no this one and i want this one okay so inside we have decor connected to the country that either of you are from bold decor lots of um reds blues greens very like i don't feel like it's a very simple decor it's going to have a family in said home mixed family i mean by lots of different countries you're all from different places um simple decor so some of you guys could have simple decor but like with massively like really intense colors so you could have one room that's like super simple and another room that's like boom 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 like massively like massively colorful externally water lots and lots of water so it could be where you're from um, is an island or is you know a massive island like england kind of thing like england is a big island <laughs> so it's not like it's a tiny island like a big island um you're gonna have a large garden so lots of water around you as well and then we have a waterfall wow so you could have a waterfall in your garden you could have a little mini river in your garden something like that okay so that's what i'm getting for you guys in terms of possibly where you're living and what you got going on so let's have a little look into the relationship then and let's see who your person is we're going to look into the type of relationship we're going to have okay If you guys are lucky enough to have a waterfall near you, I'm so jealous. Someone from England, I've actually never seen a waterfall. I mean, I think we have them in like Wales and things, but not really, like not that I've seen. I mean, it probably is, but I'm from, I'm from like the very busy part. So it's like lots of towns, lots of people, not a lot of nature, which is something I really want to be in. Like I need to be in nature right now. All right, let's get you a couple of cards. Um, did I tell you a month? If I didn't, I'm going to get you one now. That could be when you're moving or meeting your person. Let's give us a little bit of a shuffle shuffle. Come here. Your person could be a Scorpio. Wow, there's a lot of intensity in this person. They don't do things half-heartedly. They are either all in or all out. Yeah, this person's gonna bring a lot of abundance to you. There's somebody who thinks very positively. Then we have new moon. Okay, so you can meet them on a new moon. Let's have a look at your side of the relationship. How are you coming into this connection? So this is you, the hero and the rescuer. Oh my God, so you guys are definitely the sort of people to kind of rescue people. So you're gonna, if you do this authentically, it's when we give with receiving as well. We're not just kind of giving, 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 and we're emptying our cup. So if you can learn to really have boundaries with your giving, you're gonna really have a good time with this person. Um, this person is somebody who likes to be by themselves a lot, but they've just had a quite a hard life. You know, they've been in a lot of conflicts with people and um, picking up in their past, their like um, grandparents could have been part of like a gang or something. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is, they've gone through a lot, but they're, they're very, very kind. Like then they don't have had to go through like so much, but they've definitely gone through a lot of emotional stuff. Your relationship is very much the mystic. Um, it's gonna be very spiritual. You both are very spiritually and psychically connected. You both have some sort of spiritual career and it's just gonna be really, really whole, holy and authentically um, beautiful. So let's get you your last cards. Um, let's get you 
some advice. Stay positive, okay. Some of you guys could be feeling really uncomfortable right now. Support is all around you, even if it doesn't feel like it. And then we have the last one. Detox your life. So there's definitely a massive transformation for you guys at the moment, especially in your love life. So a lot of you guys are just taking one step at a time and just for you guys, detoxing could mean anything from cleansing out your home with sage to clearing some physical things, putting them in the charity. Um, and yeah, I just feel like there's a sense of like really coming away from like old patterns. I'm hearing you're not like the others. That's your person saying that. Like a very, very different and that's why they like you so much. They love how unique you are. Very, very sexy. They're very attracted to you. So that is your reading. Have a great day. Rates and crystal shop are below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, good number four. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the red jasper and we also have the rune, which is manas, meaning man. Relationship with, <clears throat> with self and others, community, awareness and morals. So that is gonna be um, your journey with your person. Uh, could be you want to be with a man as well um this is also showing me about your masculine side which is fucking amazing because we literally have the root chakra well my voice is saying weird we literally have the root chakra which is fucking insane um i love that synchronicity that makes me horny um i <laughs> love that so this is red jasper this is the masculine side um this is about attracting um strength and willpower and stability and all that beautiful yummy stuff so i keep picking up like a phallic image of a uh, peen so sorry guys if this is if you're under 16 but like i'm just getting that like length <laughs> i know i'm getting that but i feel like this is to do with um just like really strong energy just like plowing through you know so like i say this is about relationships with self and others community awareness and morals meaning man so that is going to be about um your move and where you're going to live and things like that so you're most likely going to have a very big community um you're going to have a really strong sense of self-worth there you're going to have a very good relationship with um like basically you're going to transform a lot through relationships in this home and um, it's going to give you a chance to really do that because you're not around anything toxic or anyone toxic okay I'm hearing I'm finally doing it I'm finally doing it like I'm getting a sense of like I'm finally there so there's this um really strong celebration celebratory energy um oh my god we had the fucking root oh my god it's like amazing so I do feel like that's in the reverse we'll have a look at it up right too Virgo lovely so your digestion um is gonna be a big thing with this house um you could change your diet completely um you could grow your own food something like that you could be a farmer something like that so what i'm seeing is this kind of pyramid here where it's pointing to this root what i'm seeing is it's getting to the root of an issue so you could start a therapy um business you could be uh, in as a you could be a client to a therapist and um, we also have heath which i to me this is showing to me like the heart of something so there's definitely a sense of like hitting the nail on the head it's on the tip of my tongue you know all that types of things so for you guys it's really about health and things like that in this house um you both are gonna be possibly working out a lot have your own business to do with health so we have 32 38 and 6 so these could be numbers of your house could be your age obviously not six but 38 and 36 could be the age could be adding up all of those could be an age um something like that but i feel like also i'm picking up on grandmother grandpa energy from this group i do feel like you might live with a grandparent with your partner um say if they need somewhere stale you know you want to stay with them something like that there's a sense of like respite for an elderly somebody it could be you have an elderly um neighbor okay so we're gonna have a look into the energy that's surrounding the relationship and the um, home and then we're gonna look into where you could be living and things like that i'm picking up on a, on a young girl and it could be a daughter a cousin um it could be a niece somebody is living with you and they're very young so something like that or they like to visit you or you have like a neighbor who's like really young i know it's just like young girls i'm picking up young girls so we have receiving lovers oh i love that so much so your journey right now is to be very um concrete about your needs so what i'm seeing is it's like you need to um what's what are you saying 
you need to stay the course that's what i'm hearing you need to stay the course so some of you guys could start things and then not end them that's going to be kind of your thing to work on to meet this person okay so basically it's it's about commitment it's being committed to something and for you guys i feel like you're going to be most committed when you have your when you feel like you have your purpose and you have your purpose here just on earth anyway but in terms of like a career purpose, your purpose will be to see the bigger picture. So you could be somebody who helps people in their home life, in their love life, relationship life, it could be in money. You help people with just their, their main topic of their life, whatever it is, money, relationships, health, something like that. But you help people to see the bigger picture and that could be how you meet your person. Your person could also be a, possibly a client. They could be a, another, you know, practitioner. They could, something like that. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're, you're going for a really big deep process um, before you even meet this person because I see that a lot of you guys do struggle to receive um, and like I say it's that type of it's that sense of commitment it's like am I how much am I committed to myself to really allow this to come in like do I love myself enough to really um, accept this person in my life and a lot of it is to do with a lack of um, stability you've had at home um, it could be emotional stability mainly there's in, maybe you were adopted fostered or in a home that was just very unemotional um, very lacking in love and divine energy and very low vibrational and not for all the time but it could have been maybe you even think oh i had a really good childhood but sometimes when you're a child is we only see the surface of things and if we've had trauma and you keep attracting the same person over and over and over and over and over again there will still be some sort of wound there that needs to be worked on and I think a lot of it's to do with you grounding yourself um, away from any type of relationship. So being able to find your stability without a partner and then when you find out your root, your personal power, your purpose, all the P's, then you're going to meet your man or your woman because you don't rely solely on them for all the things that you need because if they're not in your life right now how the fuck are you going to feel you're not going to feel good are you like you're just going to be like i need to be in a relationship i can't be single and that's going to fucking drain you trust me i've been there it's uncomfortable like one thing that really helped me was to just be like universe i give up you know i'm letting go i can't control this anymore and he just cut i just cut my hands and i went whoosh and i just threw it up in the air and I said universe or oh, i just actually i think i did this like i went like that i said universe take this worry away from me i'm done and that actually fucking helped me because I kept feeling responsible for trying to attract somebody. And it's like, girl, no, that is not going to help you. Okay. Yes, you're definitely um, working with authority. You're working with authority. And um, when you're in this um, house with your person, you're going to have so much effing love around you. You could have a water birth. Um, obviously, if you are carrying baby or the other person is, if there's a baby, being born it's going to be a water birth i feel like really strongly um i'm picking up some of you guys like having a baby reading like having a reading about your baby i don't do those i would love to do them but it's a very sensitive subject so that's why i don't but you know whoa look at all of these oh my god that's a lot of wands okay so these are all wands here so we have the eight six seven and ace of wands that's that's a shit ton of masculine energy there's something about masculinity if you guys resonate with this group let me know what this masculine energy is really picking up for you because it's going to be different for everyone i feel like for a lot of you guys it's to do with you um balancing out your masculine side sorry i just tutted into the microphone um it's about you guys balancing that out and actually you learn to receive learning to receive love rather than push it away and also just feeling genuinely just very responsible for attracting this in um yeah but your house is going to be very kind of like not very structured like you, it's a balance between structure and um homeliness like you may have come from a very structured family where the masculine in the family was just very rigid and uncomfortable it's just burps it's clarification so i feel like a lot of you guys are learning to really find your core value and like really learn to be open-hearted with this new person yeah a lot of you guys are in your instincts like fight or flight so I feel like for a lot of you guys, it really is about having a place of acceptance. So before you meet your person, I can highly, highly, highly recommend some type of outlet, whether it be therapy, um, di writing a diary, um, talking out loud to somebody. There's a sense of like really needing to clear something out and trusting that this person's gonna help you with that because I feel like you can't do this by yourself. 
um, and I feel like you have a lot of baggage. <laughs> I don't like saying that, but we all do. We all have a lot of baggage, but you don't want to keep holding it to yourself. You're not responsible for all this stuff, especially when you're a child. You know, you wanted to be a child, but maybe you couldn't be, you know? So I'm hearing I was responsible for my, for my parents' happiness. So there we go. It could be success or something like that. It's like maybe you need to be successful to be attracting to this to be um to get to get love maybe you felt like you had to be attractive to get a partner you know things like that and by the way you are gorgeous whatever okay if someone doesn't like you they just don't like themselves okay um or you might not be the right person for them but it's, it should never be down to your looks that can just get you a partnership okay i just want to say that all right how are you going to meet this person okay scorpio 10th house um you're going to transform your career and the way you see your masculine side um, I feel like you need to let down your guard. There's a sense of like, oh, just let down that guard, let it, let it down. And I think this is a part of your journey that is really, really concrete. I normally get quite a masculine energy from group number four. I have been getting that a lot recently. Um, so what I'm seeing is you are learning to transform through um, just change like actually just being okay with change and not being so fucking resistant to it i feel like a lot of you guys just want to shake you um but the way you're going to meet your person is when you actually learn to let go on some level not completely and fully but like you learn to let go on some level and like i said like when i said to the universe i let this go it's not i'm not responsible for it i felt so different i really did feel so different um i also feel like it could be through a career it could be through a friend who has a type of career this person's in. So say if you have a friend who is an artist and they have an artistic friend and they introduce you to them, that's what I'm feeling. It's through some type of friend. Okay. All right. So we're going to have a look at your map now and we're going to see anywhere that you are going to meet this person. Okay. Get my little cards here. I love my little cards. I really resonate with playing cards at the moment. They're so good to channel with. But I feel like a lot of you guys haven't been able to have a family that feels comfortable for you. So I'm hearing, girl, you are gonna find it. You are gonna get it. You are gonna get it. You are gonna fucking get it. You're gonna get what you want. You're gonna get what you want. You're gonna get what you want. Okay. So we're gonna be looking into the type of place, the interior and the exterior, okay? So let's have a look and see. Okay, so we're gonna be looking into the type of place, interior and exterior. Okay, so let's have a look at your map first. Let's see what place we're being drawn to. Okay. Perfect, right. I don't think it's over here. I'm not really getting that. So this could be where your person's from, but also where you're living, okay? I, will, I really like Peru, um, Chile, a lot around Brazil area. Okay, I'm also here in Costa Rica. I know it's probably nowhere near that, but Costa Rica and Bali. So we've got a lot of, um, got Angola here, South Africa, around that area. Okay, anywhere else? Sweden feels really good. We got Sweden here? Yes, yeah, Sweden. Okay, you got a lot of countries. Let's see, anywhere else? I'm picking up on India. India feels good. Anywhere else? Possibly Australia, but like the east side of Australia. Yes, okay, perfect. So do I have any of these maps available? Let me see. I have some maps here. Let me see if I've got one for any of those. I don't know if I do. I felt China, we could do China, India, Feel China and Australia we're gonna do. So take it as a resonance, guys. I'm not sure if anything bad is happening in any of these countries. So of course, you know, just take it as a resonance. It could be from here, or you could live here or they could live there, okay? So let's get a crystal. I think it's to do with like over here. I'm picking up like Beijing, so let's see. Some sort of city. I feel Beijing very strongly actually. Not so much Shanghai. No, I feel Beijing. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then let's have a look at Australia. Okay. I feel like it's at the bottom. 
somewhere, so south and over here. Yeah, it's definitely over there. Sydney, Brisbane, Rockhampton, Melbourne. Yeah, that this area here, like this part, definitely. Definitely all like the main, you guys like cities. Something about cities for you guys is a really big theme. That's a really big one for you guys. Okay. All right, so let's look at the type of place then. Let's see, the interior, no type of place, sorry, the type of place. Okay, we have a cottage. An apartment, which makes sense because I feel like it could be completely in the middle of nowhere or in the city for you guys. Okay, we have black and white decor. This is the interior. Family home. So your family is going to be over a lot. Christmas is going to be a really big thing. Like, and um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, just any type of big ceremony. I'm picking up on like so many different ceremonies, like Day of the Dead. I'm picking up on Halloween, um, uh, Diwali, Diwali as well. Okay, simple decor. Yeah, you guys like it simple. You don't like things too complicated. Your home now might be really like kind of, I don't want to say messy, but. <laughs> A little bit messy, um, kind of all over the place, also different colours. But in this house, you're going to be so different. The way we're going to be in this house is going to be so different. So this could be around the area. I'm picking up on blossom trees as well. Got travel. Here in Thailand for some of you guys as well. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You want to have a van or a camper van outside on the driveway. Um, but that's what I'm picking up for you guys. If there's anything else here, then see how it resonates with you guys. Okay, so let's put these back and then we're gonna have a look at your person and we're gonna see who they are. Star signs, all that beautiful stuff. I think a lot of you guys also, I'm picking up like, there's a sense of um, destruction going on with your relationships right now. Like I feel like some of you guys are in love situations and you're just so confused on the person but it's like if you're that confused it's probably not the right connection for you and it's not worth your time honestly it really really isn't like you don't want to put your time in a connection that just is really raw and uncomfortable don't be afraid of going intimate with yourself which cancer so your person is a cancer that's probably that is why you're coming to your heart chakra here you're really connecting to your emotions because your person is very emotional you know they want to be connected to you they want they want to love you they want to be with you so they could be a Leo, um, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. You've not actually been in a relationship for some of you guys, you've never been in one, or you've just not had one that st has, st has stuck. Yeah, I'm picking up for some of you guys, you've been around people where the family's gotten like involved, so you've been in a relationship and their family is like so possessive. Um, and yeah, that's just something you've definitely gone through. Um, so I feel like you might be nervous about that. That might actually be why you don't want to be in a relationship. Maybe you've been through divorce or you've just, you know, struggled to open up, you know, and I feel like sometimes it just takes you getting out of your environment to really be yourself, you know, especially if you're living with family. Um, if that, whoops, oh my God. If that's all you know is being around these types of people, you won't be able to form your own identity, you know? So sometimes it takes you being out of your environment to form that identity for yourself. Gorgeous love this so your masculine energy is very prominent so you could be um, really working on your masculine side so it becomes more positive and in a, in a less kind of destructive obsessive way um, trying to force stuff and push stuff like you're actually being more gentle with yourself and using it in a way where you can actually get stuff done without being so uncomfortable i'm picking up this sense of massive perfectionism this comes from the mother's side possibly the dad's side i feel like the dad's side is like success and that's how you earn affection and then the mom's side is like okay um, when are you gonna get married you know it's a sense of like perfectionism like you have to be this you have to do that um, and when you come out of that you're going to feel so much better your relationship is the giver so both of you are massive givers you both are very artistic you're so gentle you always are somebody who is um, very attention you have strong attention to detail one of you could be a nurse or a midwife um, I'm picking picking out a sense of like close to babies 
Um, this sounds really weird to say, I'm sorry if this triggers anyone, but I'm hearing close to babies and death. So it could be some of you guys are working in a hospice, working in a hospital. There's something about I can handle it, you know, and it's not, um, it doesn't, it's not too uncomfortable for me. So it could be working at a funeral home, something like that, you know, um, funeral place, I don't know what they're called. Okay, so your person's a pioneer, you are the ruler. Both of you have very, very raw, intense energy. Um, but you're both very, very different. You both balance each other out really well and you both have really good hearts and you love each other very, very much. And that's that's the most important thing. Some of you guys are gonna have really weird neighbors, but they're gonna be really funny. Like they might like walk around their garden naked or something. <laughs> like they might be really hippie. Um, I don't know if that's a hippie thing, but they're really like, they're very different, okay? They're very different. Okay, so this is your advice right now in your love life. So soothe your soul which is funny because we have still a slight there. And then we have Rainbow Obsidian, Heal Your Heart. This is so amazing. This feels to me, what I'm hearing in your head is it's like, I'm, I'm really hard on myself. I'm this, I'm that, I'm really rubbish. People are gonna think of me of this. I can't do this. I can't ask questions. It's like, girl, where did you learn all that stuff? Because for you, you all you need to do is be really fucking kind to yourself and practice having patience with yourself. Most likely you are doing this because that is what you were told when you were very young and it's not who you are. And that's what I'm saying, it takes time. And also sometimes you just need to get out of that toxic environment to really heal yourself because you can't heal in the same place that you have been abused, you know? So that is your reading, my lovelies. I'm also picking up on a flower um, like this. It feels almost like, um, oh, I don't know what this is called. It's a flower of really delicate petals. Um, it's like this, this is a wild rose, this is a prairie rose, something like that, like a very gentle, delicate flower with a really thin stem, something like that. You're the one with a thicker stem here. <laughs> so you have a lot of ideas. Your person's quite free flowing. You're quite stubborn. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm being. If you guys have a great day, rate some crystal shop up below my lovelies and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.